This tranquil setting is on a wayside on Highway 38 out of Reedsport, Oregon, following the Umpqua River. Except for the heavy traffic on this corridor heading east, this is a very peaceful place. Lots of birds out here singing this early spring morning. The river's lazily flowing towards the coast. And it's just a very beautiful place. Well, the girls and I got up early this morning, left the Umpqua Lighthouse State Park, and we're heading to our next night stay. Exploring more of Oregon. So let's get back on the road. Here in a sleepy river town along the Umpqua River in Oregon is the small town of Scottsburg. Here is one of the historic school buildings here. It's not open at this time, but it is their historic school site. 1859 and 1943. And here's the old Scottsburg Fire Department fire truck number 1342. It's seen sometimes. Looks like it could almost go put out a fire. It's got everything there. Drainer and everything. There's Kate riding shotgun. <laughs> she just lays there and watches the world go by. Huh, girl? <laughs> and here we are. We've arrived at our night stay, Pine Meadows Campground, here on Cottage Grove Lake. There are several good campsites right on the lake here with a place to launch a canoe or an inflatable raft to go out fishing or just swimming. This is a very nice place. This has plenty of room, nobody feels crowded, lots of open grassy areas. It's a great place for families and pets. Oh, you'll have to forgive the uh, dappled sunshine through the large maple I'm sitting under here at the bench at my campsite. But uh, one thing I do excel in is I plan some darn nice road trips for myself. I see all kinds of things go everywhere. And right now, tonight's campsite is at the Pine Meadows Campground on the Cottage Grove Reservoir of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And this is beautiful, beautiful. We have a really nice, large, grassy campground here, right on the lake. And a nice picnic table, campfire here. And uh, where we're at, the bathrooms are right over there with showers. And this is a really great place. The girls are out here in the grass. They're just loving it. Always new things to sniff, new critters to see. But... Yeah, this is beautiful. We've been real lucky with the weather. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go over and play with the girls for a while. But this is great. Peaceful, quiet. You can hear the trees in the wind, the birds singing. People are out fishing in the lake, catching, uh, I was told, bass and trout. I'm a trout fisher myself trout and salmon. With my luck, I'd go out there and catch nothing but bass. But, uh, yeah, I definitely got to get my doggone fishing pole put together and uh, hung somewhere on the inside of my RV so I can just grab it and go. Got to get, of course, multiple fishing license for the states I travel through. But I really got to start doing that. I haven't caught fish right out of a lake or a stream and fried them up for God ages. Okay, well, on our trip up here from uh, our cutoff on the coast at Roseburg, or Reedsport, I should say, 
we traveled Highway 38 up through the Umpqua Valley Scenic Drive, which was beautiful. We saw herds of turkeys. I think they're herds, probably flocks. Uh, sheep farms, cattle farms, we saw elk, saw deer, uh, just a whole bunch of critters, many very interesting old uh, river towns that are still standing. And some of the people you can tell up here take a great deal of pride in their country background and, and living up here where it's a lot better life. Thought I'd show you a shot of the girls here in our RV. They're out roaming around enjoying the territory. So, <laughs> oh, looks like I left my darn headlights on. Well, let's just walk down here to the beach and look at the lake. Lots of places along the lake here that are still open. Lots of room to roam. You could probably put a kayak in or inflatable here on this little beach attached to the campsite. Play out in the lake, go fishing, do whatever. I wonder if there's big frogs in here we're here tonight. These are the places I prefer going. Not the overcrowded heavy campgrounds that you find near cities and towns. But up a little farther, more primitive possibly, where the big rigs and the people that just need power to do everything have to be. That's the reason I upgraded my little older RV into solar so I could be out for two weeks or more at a time totally independent and able to just live on the land. Uh, now you can see the dogs <laughs> are wore out already after exploring our new campsite here. They're just snoozing away. Well, it's gotten windy again. Still warm and sunny. Sarah sees some critters down there by the beach, so uh, I'm going to put the 15-foot lead on her, take her down, and let her dive on in. So, you ready to go, Sarah? And yeah, she's got her eyes on those critters down there. So, we're going to take off and go down to the beach here. Well, what do you see out there, Sarah? Critters left? Well, let's go, let's go on down. Come on. You going to go swimming? Huh? Going to go swimming? Yeah, you don't care. <laughs> but nothing over here? You're going to go out there? Now come here, I can't go everywhere you go. Come back here. Uh-oh. Flushed out some birds there. Got her pose. Oh, now you saw the birds. What's that out there? Huh? What's that out there? I don't have my swimming trunks on, so don't go too far. <laughs> what I tell you, she'd be out there swimming if I let her go. Yeah, shake it off. <laughs> she is just having too much fun. Okay, let's go get dried up. And go back up here to our campsite. Well, the sun has set behind us on the horizon. It's given the lake a beautiful golden glow. The frogs are out. The herons are hunting. And it's just a beautiful, cloudless, cool summer's night. So, 
the girls and I, as always, wish you happy trails and woof woof.